Assalamualaikum. Uthman. Yes. Can you hear me? Hello. Yes. Yes, Uthman. So, there is a person who has problem of urine incontinence. So he is mazur. So is it obligatory for him to put a piece of cloth over his private part to private part to spread urine to avoid spreading urine? Okay. First of all, those who claim that they have urine incontinence, either urine is dripping 24 hours, seven days a week, uncontrollably. In this case, they have urine incontinence, and such people, they are allowed to, um, if you wish, do what al Ma'dur is told to do. What is that? They, because of their incontinence, are permitted once the adhan is called, which means that the time of dhuhr has entered. They can go to the toilet, change their soiled clothes, wash their private parts, and perform wudu. If they would like to wrap their private parts with something that may prevent the leakage of urine, that would be fine, like wearing pampers or diapers or whatever. And then they can pray. And they do not have to go and renew their wudu or change their clothes that were soiled until the time of dhuhr is over. Once it's over, they have to repeat the same process. This is one category. The second category is those who do not have urine incontinence, but they suffer from a feeling of dripping after urinating that may continue for five to 10 minutes and then it ceases for six, seven hours. Nothing, not a single drop, totally dry. And they most likely have gone to a physician and done some checks and all came negative. So such people, what they're suffering from is wiswas. And such people are instructed to do something if they succeed in doing it, they will not suffer from this problem anymore, inshallah. And that is, while they're sitting to urinate, after they finish urinating, and they can see clearly that there is not a single drop coming out. Without squeezing themselves or contracting their muscles, they're just sitting and relaxing, and there's nothing coming out. What does this tell you? it tells you that urine has stopped. What they have to do is to pour water externally on their private part, sprinkle water on the inside of their underwear and stand up and make wudu and ignore any feeling of dripping that comes to them. So when they raise their legs to wash it in wudu, they may get a feeling, ignore it. When they walk out to the masjid, they may get a feeling, ignore it. When they bow and prostrate in salat, they get a feeling, ignore it. If they, and they do, should not go and check after salat, never. If they f succeed and manage to do this for four to five days, the feeling would disappear forever with the grace of Allah Azza 